What's up guys, welcome back to more Reddit stories about entitled people, crazy people, and everything in between. Hope you're all doing awesome today, be sure to subscribe if you're new here, and as usual, we're getting right into today's Reddit posts. Guy parks in the middle of the road, is enraged when his car is towed. I work as a 911 dispatcher. We've had a lot of storms here lately, which has caused a lot of power lines to fall down, trees down, etc. One of our calls was from a local power company that could not get access to a power line because a guy decided to drive through the road closed signs, parked, blocking the power company's trucks, and walked away to the park that is five minutes away from where he parked in the middle of the road. We got a call from the workers saying they can't work to restore the power. Officer goes out, could not find contact information for the owner, and has to tow it. Normally, we try to contact the owner to give them a chance to come get a car before we have to tow it. A few hours later, I took a call from the owner, livid that we towed his car. I immediately shut him down, saying that I did not tow his car, the police did. And secondly, it was parked in the middle of the road, blocking a power company from doing their jobs. He said, No, I parked it on the side of the road. Lie because I'm a member of the boat club and had to walk to the park to check on my boat because the power company shut down the road. The amount of sheer selfishness, lack of self-awareness, and ignorance is staggering with these people. Not only did he break the law by parking in the middle of a roadway, he knowingly drove around road close signs. He blocked workers from restoring power to homes, then blamed the police for towing it. Yelling at a lady for trying to grab my dog's leash. I'm a 5'5 female and I have a 6-year-old German Shepherd named Pumpkin. I am undeniably very lazy, but having a German Shepherd has made me much more active because she is a very energetic dog who needs lots of exercise. Every morning I take Pumpkin for a walk, and people often come up to us asking to pet her. She is very friendly, so I always say yes. One day while walking her, a woman who looked to be in her early or late 30s asked to pet Pumpkin. I agreed as usual and stopped to let her do so. As she petted my dog, she started asking me questions about her. Her name, how long I've had her, her age, and more. I began to get a little impatient because, like everyone, I had work to do, and this was holding me up. She continued petting Pumpkin for about five minutes, asking question after question. I started to gently pull on Pumpkin's leash, signaling for her to stand up. After saying goodbye to the woman, I began to walk away, but the lady quickly grabbed the leash, trying to pull it out of my hands. Here's where I think I may have overreacted a bit. I immediately got upset trying to grab the leash back while saying things like, what on earth are you doing? And what is your problem? The lady had a tight grip on the leash, so we did a little tug of war for a short second before I got it back. Pumpkin is a highly trained dog, and German Shepherds are generally very protective, so you can imagine she was not very calm in the situation. Pumpkin attempted to nip the woman's leg, but thankfully, by then, I had already regained control of the leash and pulled her away. While my dog can be aggressive sometimes, she is also intelligent and knows when to stop. Pumpkin put her tail between her legs and pinned her ears back as she hid behind me. At this point, I was more concerned about Pumpkin than the lady. I barely realized Pumpkin had almost bitten her, and I didn't check on the woman at all. The lady was screaming and crying, which was honestly kind of funny. She yelled, Your dog bit me, and somebody help! Someone actually called the cops, but fortunately, my neighbors who saw what happened are good friends of mine and vouched for me. I still have no idea why she grabbed the leash. I don't know if she genuinely tried to steal my dog or just wanted to pet her more. While I don't think what she did was right, I have been told I might have overreacted a bit. I let him cheat so I can watch him fail. This was years ago, but it still brings a smile to my face at times. Back in school, a handful of students, including myself, missed a major test due to extracurriculars. The teacher already arranged for us to take a test in a back room during regular class session. There was a guy, let's call him Eric, who was the typical boy who behaved like he was all that in a bag of chips, rude, obnoxious, and didn't once talk to me, until that hour in the testing room. Back in school, I was mostly quiet. If resting bitch face was a thing back then, I would have been the poster child for it. I was known to be a bit nerdy, so it wasn't a surprise when he sat right next to me, chatting it up. He went on to tell me how I looked like I could be a Victoria's Secret model, and I was one of the prettiest girls in school, and blah blah blah. He then asked if he could copy my answers. I smiled and said, Sure, give me a few minutes and I'll show you my answer sheet. 
He grinned and twirled around in his seat, fidgeting with his pencil, making absolutely no effort in taking the test. I look up and whisper, Done, hurry up and copy. With no hesitation, he hurriedly copies my work. I told him to walk away first so it wouldn't be suspicious. He did. As he was leaving, he did a weird salute and laughed at the other students still taking the exam. As soon as that door shut, I erased the answers I gave him and filled in the correct answers. I turned my work in shortly after. The teacher said she would take a week to grade them. During that week, Eric didn't say hi to me at all. When he did look in my direction, he would elbow to his friends to laugh at me. I couldn't wait until he got his results. The day finally came. The teacher handed us back our graded tests, and the way he stood up shocked, shouting, an F? and ran over to me to see my A-plus grade was chef's kiss. He definitely stopped laughing at me after that. Entitled mother keys my car over a handicapped space she couldn't park in. This happened roughly two weeks ago. Me, a 16-year-old female, and my mother, 36, were pulling into a car park for a home bargains. To my non-UK readers, this is the largest shop that sells basically everything for cheap. We drive a brand new convertible BMW, this is important. My mother pulls into a disabled parking space and we get ready to go into the shop. This is the last available disabled parking space in the car park. For some context, my mother has issues with her back and can't stand or walk for very long without serious pain, so we have a disabled badge to park close to shop entrances. As I'm getting out of the car and walking around to the boot slash trunk to grab some bags, a woman, the entitled parent of the story, starts yelling at me saying that we can't park there. The conversation goes like this. Excuse me, said the entitled mother. I turn around and make a confused face. You just took my parking spot, she said. We didn't, she was behind us when we pulled in. And I say, I wasn't driving, sorry I guess. This spot is for disabled people and parents with children. You need to move now, I have children in the back, she said. I have a disability badge in the car, we're allowed to be here. The entitled mom says, you don't look disabled in the slightest. These are only for disabled people. Yes, my mom is... She cuts me off, shouting. People like you disgust me. You think you're entitled to park anywhere you want. You need to move your stupid f***ing car before I call the police. At this point, she's out of the car and she's getting very close to me and shouting in my face. Up until now, my mother was waiting in the car for me to grab her a trolley to lean on while we shop. However, when she heard the shouting, she came out of the car. Mother, shouting, says... Hey, 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 that is a child. Why the f*** are you getting in her face? My mother used to work in a bar. She can be very scary when she wants to be. You can't park here. This is for disabled people and parents only. I have two kids that are hungry. I need the spot. I have such and such medical condition. I am allowed to park here and it is none of your f***ing business. And she goes to grab the badge and show it to this woman. I've walked away at this point. A few more words were exchanged while my mother flashed her the badge that I didn't fully hear. She gives us a dirty look and calls my mother a tramp as she's driving off to park somewhere else, and we go into the shop and carry on with our day. A boy around my age, the entitled mother's son apparently, comes up to me and my mother while we're shopping and is profusely apologizing for what happened. We tell him it's not his fault and just walk away. We're in the shop for about 40 minutes, and we come out to see that the passenger side door of our car has three huge scratch marks in it. This tramp keyed our car because we parked where we were allowed to. We straight away connect the dots and my mother goes inside to speak to the security team while I phone the non-emergency police line to report it. Fast forward a few days and we get word from the police that they identified the woman who did it from security feed of her doing it and her license plate number on the feed of the argument between her and us two. Seriously, how stupid was she to do it in broad daylight in front of a busy shop? According to the police's info, she denied everything, and is persistent in saying we did it ourselves to frame her. We're currently awaiting a court date for vandalism, and the insurance payout to get the car fixed. We have the security footage of her actually scratching the car up as evidence, so I think we'll be fine in both court and insurance terms. Also just occurring to me after writing this, her son had to be at least 15. And parent and child bays in the UK are usually limited to children under 5, so she couldn't even park there if she wanted to. Neighbor now in jail because she thought she bought a view and quiet in a subdivision. The lady that lives two down from me bought early in her neighborhood. There were two empty lots by her, 
It's a golf course community. Her property, however, only backs into some woods between holes. I bought the property two down that sits on the green. She could still see the green when the lots were empty. After the houses were built, she could still see it, but less well. The lot between us sold and a family moved in. They and us have five little kids. We both had the builder put in a fence. The fence was installed into the buffer zone between the golf course and our property owned by the HOA. Almost every other house in the neighborhood has a fence or bushes in the buffer. It mostly exists for drainage. Only rule is no structures in it. Me and the other new houses have a few kids each and they play outside often. The lady is pissed we built houses in the empty lots in a half-finished subdivision. She says we stole her land for our fence. She also thinks she's entitled to quiet country living on a 0.2 acre lot in the suburbs. She starts harassing me and my neighbor. First, little things. She turned me into the HOA for something in my backyard, which puzzled me. She called the cops because the kids were playing outside at 3 p.m. on a Saturday. She filed a complaint against our realtor. The neighbor on her other side abruptly moved. Probably another story there. She really took it out on the wife next door. She was afraid of the husband. From what they told me, they ended up getting a restraining order, but she didn't stop. She walked into their yard and filmed them through their windows. That got her arrested and charged with a felony for violating the restraining order. She was offered a plea deal if she'd sell and move. She wouldn't take it, and while out on bail, started screaming at the kids in the backyard again. That resulted in the police being called on her. Her bail was then revoked and she's in jail once again. The house is now for sale. Alright everyone, that's it for today's stories. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more Reddit content. So take care, I'll see you next time.